Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where every new subscriber is still greeted with a yes. And our studio is the great outdoors mostly. Sometimes my living room, sometimes my dining room, but mostly the great outdoors. Today we're going to talk about a purchase that I recently made. Uh, recently bought the DZ Red Label Crossover Toolbox. Uh, I want to talk to you about what went into my decision making process. Uh, if you're If you're like me, you over shop everything. You have to find the right price, the right quality, the right color. Will it fit your needs? Will it do everything you want it to do? And will it will it fit your whatever you're trying to do, where you're trying to put it? Uh, just over shop everything. Uh, sometimes when I get ready to buy something like this, I have to uh, I have to shop for months before I actually make a uh, make a decision on it. Well, this is what I decided on. I'm gonna get into uh, why I made the decision I did. Uh, we'll look at the box, um, it's a quality, um, all that kind of stuff. So when I began shopping for the box, for a toolbox for the back of my truck, I had to decide what brand, first of all. And so I started perusing through some brands. There was a whole bunch of different brands of these things. They're very similar in shapes and sizes and all that. There's nothing, really out there that's any big difference than any of the other just a little bit better quality build uh well, i decided on the on the dz uh pretty much picked dz because i'd seen it everywhere a lot of people have dz uh, toolboxes in their truck uh, so that's why i decided and i started looking into it uh what kind of style i wanted well first of all i didn't want one that sat on the bottom of my bed I didn't want any kind of small gap between the bed of my truck and the bottom of the box because that's just a place where trash collects. I hate that. I hate trying to get something underneath there to get all that trash out of there. Uh, you wind up dropping tools in there and they, they wind up underneath the box. You got to fish them out. So I wanted some space underneath the box. Uh, I've got plenty of space under the box now. I can slide totes. I can put a, a milk cradle fit underneath there. Uh, I have a tote that fits underneath there. Um, just, uh, and it just keeps it a little bit more organized for me. Plus I know me, uh, if I have a box with a large capacity in it with a whole bunch of space, it's just going to get nasty cluttered. I'm just going to throw crap in there. No matter what it is, it's going to get full of junk and it'll take me forever to find anything in there. So I decided on something with a little bit more capacity than, uh, than just a small box. Um. Uh, but uh, I've got the crossover because I wanted as much capacity as I could. And I didn't want it real deep, like I said, because I wound up getting it cluttered and nasty and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, when this box came in, uh, this is what it looked like. It, the, the shipping, com uh, the shipping uh, container was a little bit tore up. I uh, was kind of worried when I pulled it out there was going to be uh, a whole bunch of damage on it but there was absolutely no damage to this box whatsoever not a dent not a scratch nothing it was just this uh, the shipping parts of the shipping were falling off the bar uh, the box was falling off there was tape everywhere um, so I was a little bit nervous about it but when I pulled it out it's like yeah so uh, and I, I put this in here pretty much by myself. It took me a while to decide whether I wanted a uh, crossover or a, or a full box that didn't cross over, come out over the edge of the bed um, because of my ladder rack. I didn't know how I was gonna use my ladder rack on it. And I'll show you how, I mean, I saw some other guy with this same setup on his truck and I thought, oh, that'll work. At least I can get a six foot ladder on my ladder rack and still carry a kayak whenever I want to. Um, so, yeah, it works. Uh, so let's get up here and take a look at so it. So as you can see, it is key lockable. Uh, there's a handle on both sides that you can reach. It'll open from either side. So that's kind of nice. So if you're on the other side of the truck, you don't have to walk around to open it up. So the double handle is nice. Uh, the capacity of it is fine. It fits just about everything I need in it so far. So far, but I can't over clutter it because it doesn't have a bunch of capacity. So I have to be real careful what I stick in there. Uh, and I wanted something that I could secure. It does have a key lock on it. Uh, I wanted something that I secure, could secure tools and equipment, anything that I carry for my, uh, for my AC work uh, in here. But the mounting of this thing was quite easy. Now they do have other mounting options, but the one that came with the box uh, looks a little something like this. They're J 
J hooks. Drill a hole in your box right here. Now, it's already mounted, of course, but uh, you drill a hole in your box. Uh, it comes with this hardware. Let's see if I can get you down here where you can uh, actually see what it looks like. And it goes underneath the bed, the uh, corner of your bed, like that. Uh, the way you're not drilling into your uh, bed. So if you ever ever want to um, trade your truck in, get a new truck or whatever, it's easy to remove. Uh, it just slips right out of here. It was really easy to put in. Um, <coughs> and you can see the capacity on it. It's very well constructed. In my opinion, this tray is movable uh, from what I can tell, this right here, all the way around to back here. Now, that's one thing they told me was on the description was it was one solid piece. It was just molded and bent into shape. And from what I can tell, there is no welds anywhere on that. The only welds that are here are on the ends right here. So, not too shabby. And they're covered up real good. Now, this has got a really really nice matte powder coated finish on it which i like uh it accessorizes with my truck quite well um like the color like the style like the way it looks in my truck one thing i did not like about this box i'll be straight up honest with you that's what we're here for is um this compartment right here this wall was not here this little bin was not here uh, that is uh, that is something I I come up with to uh, make this a usable compartment uh, the way they manufacture it there's nothing here so it is basically in my opinion uh, unusable space uh, because uh, because it's just you know it's six inches worth of storage that you can use for something uh, put I, I'm using I'm gonna use it for putting transformers and capacitors and anything like that at my any parts that I need for my air conditioning work right here Yesterday I made these and put them in and my wife was like well did you make a video out of it? <laughs> of course not uh, what I did is I took uh, a Six inch piece of uh, just aluminum sheet metal Bent the top here, so it's not a sharp edge. So I don't cut, slip my wrist every time I reach in here to get something and uh, just made a uh, a bracket out of it and just fastened it down with some nuts and bolts and uh, that's it it was that easy cut it long enough to fit in there and painted it black with some rust-oleum spray paint so pretty easy but yeah that's what I did that way I got some space here that I can actually use for something that are just dead space up there because if you set anything up there as soon as you take off down the road and make a turn it's going to fall off in the bottom of the bed so that is the only thing i didn't like about this toolbox uh the way i did my um my ladder racks i just came forward with it uh, i can still fit a six foot ladder over the top here and it works all right, another thing I liked about this this size box with the, uh, the space between here and there is the fact that I can store my uh, just regular stuff underneath there. If I ever go camping, kayaking, need to haul some lumber, whatever. Uh, there's plenty of room underneath here for a milk crate and, uh, and a tote of this size will just roll right underneath there. So, Plenty of room for that kind of stuff. Got water hose and cleaners and stuff like that in there. Uh, in here, I have a milk crate as well, full of just odds and ends that I want to lock up. A uh, tool bag, a uh, vacuum pump, a whole bunch of electrical accessories, uh, fittings and stuff like that in here. And of course, can't do anything without a two foot level. Uh, that fits in there just fine. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the purchase. Uh, it cost me $487. Uh, I thought it was worth every penny. It'd be the last one I'll probably buy. I probably won't have to buy another one of these for years. I'll probably have three own three different trucks before I get rid of this box. Um, so I'm happy with it. It's been in for about a week, week and a half. Uh, I did the modifications on the little compartments yesterday, which was quite easy. It took me about an hour to do it. Um, 
anyway, if y'all have any questions, hit me up in the comments with it. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Uh, it's really pretty box. Like I said, it's powder coated. Uh, very durable. Uh, so far, so far so good. I was standing on it yesterday doing some stuff and it held me up. So, and the, the, the top didn't cave in. I'm well over 200 pounds. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, y'all give me a quick like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff down there at the bottom. I, I, like I said, every subscriber is still greeted with a, yes, got another one. Uh, so, y'all let me go, yes. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Doodles.